Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday. Thursday morning. I'm excited about that. Pretty excited about that. Because bowling tonight. Bowling tonight. Now, I want to tell you guys something. I know it's only been uh, probably about eight days. No, longer than that because a week. It's probably been about almost 12 days. But I want you to look at my man boobs. How they're starting to go down a little bit. You know what that's from? Just changing my eating. eating. Uh, tracking my eating like we talked about yesterday on my Lose It app. Of course, I work out all the time, but I track my food and I make sure I don't go over the calories I'm not supposed to. It's an easy, easy thing we talked about yesterday. I don't want to talk about it anymore. We did a show yesterday. No, when, uh, Wednesday night. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. And kind of at the shack. Yeah, and it's a, but you tell, tell them just a little bit what about it is. What it is. Isaac, uh, a local musician, actually we played Little League together, uh, has a studio behind his house. He brings in different kind of entertainers from music to wrestlers to MMA fighters yeah. to losers. That's, That's why us. we went Tuesday. Yeah. And just kind of sits around and tells their story and plays a little music. And, and it's a podcast. <coughs> podcast. They stream it. They, they do a Facebook Live, yeah. but then they podcast it. Yeah, and uh, you can find that. We, we can find that link on uh, Isaac's page. But somebody, as we were telling, because he was asking our story, and we were kind of telling our story, somebody had uh, instant, uh, instant messaged me and says, man, I never knew all that about y'all. I never knew how far y'all have went and how you have been so close. And it yeah, got me so to far. thinking, yeah, got me to thinking. And people, how do you deal with failure? And I want you to tell them the story of Ron Bergamo, not Ron Burgundy from what's his name, from uh, Anchorman, but this guy was the general manager of AZ-13 and how <laughs> close we were to... Making it, I guess. I get, we're making it now. Ron Bergamo, Listen. We, we walk in with Unjust, 13 episodes of uh, a group of military guys that were back from the war and really didn't know how to fit in. So they kind of formed this vigilante group to track down bad guys. Basically, this was the unit before the before unit, the unit <clears throat> because this was 2006. Well, we get it on. It's on at 10 o'clock on Sunday, I think. 10.30, something like that, and it does well. It does well. It does really well. He was blown away about how well it did. So before Thanksgiving, he called us into his office and went, hey, after the holidays, we are going to take this, and I'm going to get in touch with all the other general managers of all the stations I know and get you guys going, get you guys syndicated. And this is late <clears throat> night TV. This is going to be like that 11 or 12 that you see. Yeah. On CBS and all this so this is a huge deal for us because we're selling our product to stations for content right go and we gave each other a big hug on the way and you know Thanksgiving goes by and Christmas goes by and after the first of the year we're like man we should call Ron no he'll call us well Mr. Ron Burgum and his wife went up to Prescott for Thanksgiving. And on the way back down, they hit a patch of ice, lost control, and uh, wrecked. This is in the mountains, by the way. Uh, way way up in the mountains. <clears throat> and uh, neither one of them survived. I said this on a show the other day. This That was not about us. Ron was a good man. Great man. He Great. just so happened was going to help us. Yes. And... We came back, station, new station manager come in a month or so later and went, yeah, that's just not the direction I want to go. So, you, Yeah. That, that was the hardest walk because we went in there and met him as we got our tapes back and stuff. We were shooting on tape back then, 4HD and all this stuff. Hardest walk out of the station holding those box of tapes going, Dang it. What now? Right. We we had literally thought 
We made it. I mean, and, and this is, oh. this, it had Wolf from American Gladiator. Yeah. Before he was Wolf. Before he was Wolf. Uh, Jose, our buddy Jose, who's in Hollywood doing a ton of stuff. God dang, I can't even mention all this stuff. Look up uh, uh, Breeze Blocks. He's the lead character in that video. You've never heard of it. 85 trillion. Oh, where he's the dad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Uh, I sent it to you. Yeah. And Hollywood, the reason we stopped the seven episodes was he got the American Gladiator deal and he was going off to be the American Gladiator. That's why we stopped and only shot seven episodes, but they liked it enough as a drama. And that SOB is the reason we had to start it late because he took a seven inch horn up the as a bullfighter and we had to wait six months we did that's exactly while right. he had his insides rebuilt but you you don't deal with failure of you know <laughs> what we're gonna pack it up we're done we we had our one shot we literally looked at each other and went okay what do we do now we we were told you can do it i like you guys i kind of like what you're doing where you're going, I'm going to help you. So that went, okay, all right, man. That's just one That's just one hurdle. So forward a few years. A few years. We have done Cowboy and Lucky the movie. Yes. The first one. 2009. <clears throat> we start looking for partners. Partners. And partners, I mean uh, Honda. Yeah. Coke, Big Red, Dr. Yeah. Pepper. Somebody like that to partner with. Russell goes, man. My buddy Tiny, still at Big Red. Don Don Sharp, y'all heard us mention him. Yeah. Had sold Big Red. Yeah. To a group of people, and Tiny was still second in command. Right. So we gave Mr. Big Tiny a call. Little Tiny now. <clears throat> we go up there. We meet those guys. They went. Here's what we want to do. Yep. We want to put a Cowboy and Lucky DVD in every box. Yeah. In the Walmarts and HEB in Texas. Right, in Texas. If it does okay then, then we'll roll it out through the Southwest. What do we do? We hug again. We have learned not to hug. That's right, in the elevator on the way down. <laughs> because they're buying the DVD. <clears throat> yes, they're buying the DVDs from us. $3 a piece. Right. Can you imagine how many 12 packs get sold? Correct. So, we come back to town. A gentleman by the name of Mr. Don Sharp wants to meet with us. Yeah. Because he's doing some stuff at the car washes. Wants to partner with us. We'll shoot the videos, the commercials. In exchange, it's, he's going to fund Cowboy series. Lucky the series. And help us sell advertising. Correct. Which he did a fabulous job. He went to all his friends and went, hey, you're going to go ahead and send us money every month. And they went, okay. And they did. And, and it done. worked. It, it was worked. great. <clears throat> Well, we get ready to go back to Big Red. Yep. And they went, here you partnered up with Don Sharp. Yep. And we're like, yeah, heck yeah. And they went, whew. <laughs> <laughs> it was hell buying Big Red from Don Sharp. And uh, we just don't want to re really do any more business with him. So good luck. And We, we didn't have anything to carry out this time. So we're, uh, but the bucket, our tears were falling yeah. in. So that pretty much that was a, that was a, man that was a that was another. I wouldn't say failure. That was another door closed on how do we deal with how do we move forward, man? It's twice. We're kind of like a Roomba. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. You just you just you, bump into something, turn around, and go the other way. You have to keep going, and you have to set yourself in a different... The one thing we've always said, as long, for me, as long as I can eat, as long as I can work out, as long as I'm healthy, we're making it. You were, for the kids, as long as they could eat, they ain't starving, they're healthy, you, we're, we're good. you got to get in the mindset of expect failure. It's going to happen. It, it's gonna it, it's just going to happen and and we, 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 this is a this is a team effort here yeah a lot of it is I for reasons of 
protecting ourselves and not getting ahead of it had become more of the glass half empty and he's the glass half full. And then it makes a good pair of, dude, you got, you, yeah. you, you're too positive, can't be this good. Dude, why are you a negative Nelly? Stop being a downer when we're trying to find that medium. Right, and you have to have that, even if it's just, but, but don't look at failure as the end of the road. That's what I'm saying. You don't succeed without failure, without failing. Uh, you know, I, we, I sent you that thing about Clint, our buddy in, in Phoenix, who is now, took his family, he was our first editor on uh, Vampire Slayers and Crown King, took his family and went, you know what? I'm just gonna film them every day. Every day I'm just gonna film them. It's our life. And he's hit over a million, 100,000, 200,000 subscribers. Twice. And <clears throat> he is getting paid by YouTube. And YouTube rolled out this new deal. And it kind of took a big, he took a little hit, but he's back to, you know, making it, making it happen. And I'm, I applaud YouTube for what they're doing because they're taking off, trying to take off a lot of negative stuff. Right. And that's, and that's really good. But don't take failure as the end of the road. It's now, the bad part is Amazon Prime is probably fixing to shut down. Because we're on it. Because we're doing exceptionally well on it. <laughs> so it's probably whatever barn it's stored in is probably going to burn down. So go ahead and order your stuff now Watch from Amazon yeah, Prime. Watch the movie. But Monday, it's almost a day. Yeah, we're close. But all Monday... We will have hit a milestone, a big one, with Amazon Prime, and I can't wait to yeah. give you that number. And, and we'll tell you. And uh, <laughs> I want to say this: my dad used to say it all the time, dude. Yeah, yeah. Mickey the Motor is Friday in the backyard. Do not forget that that failure is like a door. That's what your dad used to tell you. It, that Mickey and Motor Cars. Mickey the Motor Cars. Car. Then he would say this: okay. failure is like a door. All you got to do after it shuts is open it up and keep going. So a lot of people don't want to turn that knob because they're scared of the next step. Just open it, walk through it, keep going. It, it can only do two things, get better or get worse. That's it. you got to learn to deal with both of them. Somebody asked how big was our studio. We're going to get out of here. How awesome and how big our studio is now that we're shooting the morning show again. And I'm going to give you guys a behind the scenes of kind of and when the show's over, we're just going to stand here because I yeah. usually, yeah. one, forget to go that way. Two, there's a couch right here. And you'll see. You'll see in just a second. With our mask on. And so today is... Oh! <clears throat> Man, I've been needing to do that since we started the show. Today's lunch special's already been up, so enjoy it. You don't even, I don't even know what it is, but it's up. I'm going to tell you. It's up right now. And Ham and Turkey Club with chips and a drink. Seven dollars. Oh! That made me sneeze right Seven dollars. All right, man. Here's a little behind the scenes of what we do every morning when we get ready to do the show. And remember, watch it, like it, share it, and have a wonderful day. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. And we are out of here. Early this morning. We are a little earlier today. Where are your training folks at? What's up, world? Uh, they, uh, I don't know, she didn't feel good. And then Gerald was like, why don't you just take the day off, man? I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what do you want to talk about today? Uh, so, uh, you know what? This is what I want to talk about. <clears throat> First off, We'll, uh, we'll just kind of talk about what's going on. But I want to talk about how to deal with failure. And I want to go into the story of the unjust. And with Ron? With Ron. And how, because somebody sent me a deal saying, oh, an instant messenger said they watched our deal on Isaac, which was, and it was like, man, I, I didn't know all the, I didn't know half the stuff y'all done. And I and and it got me thinking of how people deal with like. <clears throat> well, we ought to put a link to our. Yeah, to Isaac's uh, deal. No, to the hour-long deal we did. But we cut it in pieces, didn't we? 
I don't think so. I think two pieces. I think that's it. Why? Well, we'll put that on there. Uh. She's getting one. Her day yesterday. Yeah. Stephanie got home at seven o'clock because she was up there talking at work and decided she didn't want to get up at 5.30 yesterday. So, and she gave me the, uh, you know, I'll just, uh, we can just do it tomorrow. And I went, we sure can. We doing it today. Go change. And of course, after it's done, you know, you're the greatest in the world mm -hmm. until then. It's 